Chuck Karstensen back with another video on the Millionaire from Nazareth series. Today I just want to kind of bridge the gap between the previous videos and the upcoming videos. Upcoming videos, we're going to be digging into some scriptures that I think oftentimes are mistaught, or at least I misunderstood them in my early religious teachings. And now that I became more spiritually aware, I started to learn a different way to look at some of these scriptures and a different way to look at Jesus. And that's why I've done this Millionaire from Nazareth series, because a lot of people think Jesus was poor and wanted others to be poor and it's best to live a sacrificial life. Well, I've come to believe that Jesus was a very prosperous individual that wanted to uplift people who were struggling, whether they're poor or depressed or, or hurting in some way. And he did that by trying to build interior wealth. So when we talk about the millionaire from Nazareth, we're talking about first building interior wealth. That once you seek first the kingdom of heaven, all these other things can be added onto you. And sure, not everybody's going to become a millionaire by building the interior wealth. But really, if you want to, if you really build that interior wealth, the things that Jesus talks about, you're going to be able to do much better in finances and eventually, with diligence, become a millionaire if you want to. Or be much better in relationships or just have a better mindset. A lot of people nowadays are going around depressed, hurting, feeling bad. They're, they're kind of stuck. They don't feel good about their life. They're just getting by and that's no fun. That's no way to live the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life in that same rut of, well, I don't feel really good. Yeah, you have that void inside you and a lot of times that void is the missing knowledge of the truth. And when you know the truth, the truth sets you free, and it sets you free to be able to be prosperous in areas like finances, health, relationships. It helps you to prosper your business, helps you to feel more joy and peace and happiness, and you can round yourself out as an individual. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the millionaire of Nazareth. Some people see the headlines when I post this video and think, well, Millionaire from Nazareth. They might even make the connection to Jesus and think, well, Jesus, was he a millionaire? Are we talking about trying to make a million dollars? Yes, you could make a million dollars, but we're talking about building interior wealth, the things of God that people don't really know, and they're not always taught in a, a, a distinct fashion in churches. A lot of times, the purpose of most churches here are to get people in the door and kind of introduce them to spiritual things. They don't want to overwhelm them with more deeper understandings, deeper teachings, because that might scare them away or overwhelm them in a way that it pushes them back out the door. So that's why I'm doing this teaching. I thank you for viewing it and look forward to the next videos in the series, which will help you gain more depth and understanding and, and different things that you might have heard um, in a different way. You might have heard about Jesus hoping that, you know, others would stay poor. That's how I was taught. No, Jesus wants people to prosper. Jesus wants us to have interior wealth so we can do well, give more, and be more, and increase life. Chuck Carstensen, the Discovery Team at REMAX.